We've seen some elaborate fireworks displays and various things dropping from the air from a crystal ball to a huge flea. Not kidding, a huge flea. But daylight brings New Year's Day parades. You're looking live at London. The parade there involves 8,000 performers from a variety of nations, many from the U.S., including some popular marching bands. This is the silver anniversary of the parade. Its route will pass some of the city's most famous landmarks, Westminster Abbey, Piccadilly Circus, and Trafalgar Square. But first, take a live look at the New York New Year's Parade. That's actually in London happening right now. This is their New Year's Day Parade in the UK. Well, the morning after the night before, more than 8,000 performers are gathering in central London for the 25th New Year's Day Parade. Marching bands and cheerleaders among those entertainers helping the capital celebrate the start of 2011. Sky's Amy Lewis is there in the thick of it for us. And uh, talk us through what's going on, Amy. Yes, we've seen some pretty spectacular scenes here, Matt. We've just seen a band go by from New York, as you say, 8,000 performers taking part this year. And there are estimated, there's estimated to be around half a million people here watching. Let's go and chat to some of them. What have you thought of uh, all of the uh, people going by and what you've seen? It's so professional and such enthusiasm from the That's young people. Fun. It's a real pleasure to be here. Why did you want to come? Because I've never ever taken the opportunity and I thought this year I must come up and see the parade. We've seen some very unusual uh, performers and we've seen everything from Garfield to uh, Father Christmas going by. What's in your favourites? Um, I love the pearly kings and queens. I love the marching bands from New York and from Austin. Wonderful, wonderful variety. Now, more than 8,000 performers have been welcoming in 2011 on the streets of London for the annual New Year Parade. Amy Lewis reports. London has welcomed in the New Year in spectacular style. Thousands of performers took to the streets for this year's parade. Hello! How are you? It was witnessed by almost half a million spectators. The bands have been really good. It's nice to see, you know, people from the all the different bur boroughs in London and everything. So it's been really great. It's tradition and it's lovely. And I'm here with my dad, who's 86 nearly, and uh, he loves it. So it's just part of being British. It's good to meet the crowds, and I meet folk from Germany, from Holland, from Canada, from America, and Australia. It was amazing. I just liked every bit of the show. The parade was led by the Royal British Legion in tribute to its 90th anniversary. They were followed by the quintessential and quirky. The parade is celebrating its 25th anniversary and it's still growing. It is already the largest of its kind in the world and this year the performers are representing 20 different countries. And one nation in particular, America, where parades are part of tradition. Earlier, eight tons of fireworks lit up the sky above the Thames. But in daylight, the focus was on London. The parade's organisers say it's been the best yet. Let's hope the New Year's the same. Amy Lewis, Sky News. Good evening. Thousands of people lined the streets of London for the 25th New Year's Day parade. The event also enjoyed a huge television audience in America, where around 200 million people watched on TV and online. Here's Aisha Baksh. New Year, one, two, three! Give them a wave and a cheer as they go past. 10,000 people took 